up ladies and gentlemen, it is Kevin Jackwitz here with a cage review. And today I'm going to look at a behind the scenes kind of documentary uh, where they're showing the making of God of War 2018 and it goes into the fighting styles. And I think that's really cool because they've totally reinvented this fucking game. Like from beginning to end they just overhauled everything except for the way Kratos looks. And even he kind of looks different. So it's kind of awesome in a lot of ways. It's familiar, but it's definitely stepping into new territory. And I do have the Stonemasons Edition. It's pre-ordered. I got it day one, which is actually like a day and a half away from now. You can see I've got my open spot here where I'm going to put all the figures as soon as I get them. I had to clear out some space. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do the gameplay uh, very soon thereafter. It's going to be either that night or the next day I'm going to get right into this game. Because it looks phenomenal. It really does. Santa Monica, um, just one of the best game studios there are. I've always said that Naughty Dog and Santa Monica are my two favorites. Everything they do visually is stunning. Uh, the gameplay is always very well done. So I'm really excited to check this out. So let's go ahead and dig into um, Fight Your Way. This God of War game is definitely the biggest one we've ever made. There's a lot of content, and we wanted to make sure that out of all the players playing it, everybody plays it a different way. The we biggest one says a lot. We players to have choice. We want players in the game with a different Kratos as somebody else's Kratos, even though they're still Kratos at the end of the day. What we wanted to do is make it's sure really cool. that all the customization Honestly. that we offered to the player fed directly into the core loop of the game. All of Atreus' sort of core abilities, all of Kratos' core abilities, as well as kind of his reactions, the cooldowns and how fast those go, all of your sort of damage, as well as That's ability cool. to take damage, all of those things are factors that you can have control over. The core of him will be I love how they the incorporate Atreus. What he feels like, what he, what he can do, how strong he is. We wanted to make sure that there was enough options there that the players could customize him to whatever they like doing. As the game continues, you'll gain new abilities for your axe. There's a skill tree that you'll be able to use to, to give yourself more axe abilities or more uh, bare hand abilities. Or maybe you want to you know, improve your defensive capabilities and block and parry and slam guys around. And then you want to go into shield skill tree and kind of add those abilities to, to the shield. Visually, this thing looks amazing. Everything is kind of at its core, a little bit of risk reward, but it really is that kind of like balancing act that says, I prefer this, right? And sometimes the situation will also dictate it. So that while you're in a combat experience, you may realize that, oh, I've chosen a, a strength build and I'm getting hit by a character who essentially is knocking out all of my health in one hit, right? Okay, I have to rethink this and kind of, hey, I have this other piece of armor, I'm gonna swap that out. Or I rethink and my I'm strategy, and I can probably See this, but I have to stay agile, stay farther away, I have to go in quick and then get out as fast as possible and really perfect how I use evades and parries and blocks. Basically, like, whatever you want to do, it's probably somewhere in the game. That is pretty slick, honestly. Yeah, when it comes to games like this, where you get to choose what you upgrade and then the upgrades you get for each ability, I tend to go straight for power. I like getting in there and mixing it up. Um, I dodge very well, so um, I tend not to worry too much about defense because if they're not hitting you, you don't have to worry about defense. But it looks really cool the way they're incorporating this new fighting system. Uh, I love the Blades of Chaos, but honestly, I feel like they were kind of running out of ideas for the Blades. Um, I mean, you had five games in total where you had to come up with different uh, fighting styles for these blades, different magic sets for it. So I'm really glad that they kind of overhauled the whole game in that way because I love God of War, but there's only so many games you can play with the same fighting style before it kind of just gets overly redundant. And I think that they were well aware of that and really wanted to create something new. So great job, Santa Monica. Completely excited. Like I said, a day and a half. I'm going to have this game in my hands. And I will do my unboxing right away and get right into the gameplay right after that. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed the reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackwitz, Cage Nation, out.